Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, welcome back to my hashtag b for b series. Uh, this is going to be uh, part three, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure, but yeah, we'll just call it part three. Um, today we're going to be trying another uh, beer. Well, actually it's a cider. But, um, you know, it came in that beer package that I got from my good buddy Drew. You know, beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. If you guys don't know about Drew, beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. There's going to be a link down in the description. You need to get to that description, find that link, click on it, go there, watch his videos, subscribe to him. Because let me tell you, man, Drew, he's a fucking awesome guy. He sent me some great beers and uh, I got one left. And that's what we're going to get into today. This is, uh, well, last weekend of summer, man, um, we got we got some storms coming in. As you can see, sky over there is dull and hypothetical, which just, you know, is going to fit right into what I'm about to do. So let's get back to Outlaw Camp and uh, let's have something to drink. Yeah, guys. Uh, somewhat less than faithful companions are back with me. Um, got a little fire going ready, as you can see. We're gonna get that stoked up before we have ourselves a drink. Um, here's the thing, guys. Um, I've been out, been doing uh, some Adirondack camping, as you guys have all seen. Um, <laughs> my first uh, series of Adirondack antics, uh, the Balls of Sagandaga is uh it's been posted it's up there uh all nine episodes um they're collected in a playlist now so uh if you want you know to uh make it easier to watch all that uh nonsense and just ridiculous misadventure uh go to the playlist there'll be a link down in the description um but this is not a camping video guys this is a video about beer and actually um, it's not even really gonna be about beer. This is gonna be about cider because Drew sent me a tragically hip uh, Road Apple cider. We're gonna be pulling that out of the old fridge over there in just a minute and we're gonna be trying it, checking it out, seeing what we think and I'm gonna be letting all of you guys know. So yeah, man, thanks for joining me. Let's get to it. Of course, uh, before I get to the uh, Tragically Hip Cider, I gotta let you guys know, man, these were two other beers that Drew sent me. The uh, Laker Ice and the Willibald River Monster. Um, what ended up happening, guys, um, about a month ago, maybe a little longer than that, I think uh, the girlfriend and I were either uh, celebrating the fact that we were gonna go camping together and that's going to be the next uh, camping misadventure you guys see. The uh, Louis Lake, Indian Lake camping thing. But it's, this isn't about camping, man. Um, so, like I said, man, I'm not sure if we were celebrating the fact that we were leaving or the fact that we were coming back. But uh, we were having a little party and uh, we ran out of beer. And we're like, hey, man, you know, luckily for us, Drew had sent us some beer which we had in the fridge, and we got into the uh, Laker Ice here. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, man, the Laker Ice, it was delicious. I loved it. Um, it wasn't enough, though. So we decided to get into the old uh, Willibald River Monster. And let me tell you, man, this thing was fucking rough. It was, oh, man, it was difficult. I mean, this is like an 8.4. Woof, it pretty much ended our night. But uh, I did try those two, Drew, in case you were wondering. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get a review of those. I also did not get a review of the uh, Puppers. But the Puppers, you know, it wasn't going to be a review for that. So any of you guys have been watching this uh, B for B series, you'll know what I'm talking about with those beers. I did try those too, man. Um, and, you know, like I said, the Lake Rice was good. The Willibald, that was some fucking rough shit. Uh, maybe under different circumstances it would have been okay but uh, what we're gonna do today man we're gonna come over here 
to the old fridge and in here what i got is the last uh, remaining beer which isn't even a beer that i got from drew and it is right here man look at this guys this is uh from the thornbury village uh, brewery i guess i don't know but it's the tragically hip road apples craft cider see that look at that guys i mean this is gonna be good uh we're coming in 5.1 percent alcohol made in small batches 100 percent canadian apples how can you go wrong with that uh yeah thornberry village cider house okay and this is the hip saskadelphia edition um saskadelphia man that was the uh, last uh hip album i guess that came out not too long ago um i do have it i actually paid money for it i bought it i didn't have somebody steal it for me um and you know it was pretty good but uh this isn't really about uh the hip album man this is gonna be about this cider and i gotta tell you guys um you you all know you know i'm allergic to sulfites uh, which is why i don't drink wine um you know i i guess if i wasn't allergic to sulfites i could drink wine there'd be a lot of wine drinking in my uh videos but it, it the shit really fucks with me man i get like you know my throat closes up i start breaking out sweat and turn red it's horrible stuff man um and there's the thing man right there it says maybe you can see that contains sulfites so i'm not really sure how this is gonna go but i'm not gonna let you know allergies sulfites and you know death really deter me from trying this cider now uh before i open this bad boy up i gotta let you know um the next uh video uh after the uh, louis lake indian lake uh, camping thing and my adirondack antex um we got a Pasico lake video coming up too i mean you guys are going to be watching so much uh camping in the adirondacks for me that you guys are going to be sick of it um but the thing was uh the last time we went up to the adirondacks i meant to bring this with me and uh, we got probably about a mile away from home and i'm like man i forgot the cider so uh the girlfriend and i didn't get to try it on our last camping trip and um I asked her today if she wants to try some of this. She's like, you know, maybe off camera or whatever. So don't really expect uh, to see her trying this out. Um, I'm just looking at this, man. It's the, uh, yeah, 30th anniversary of, uh, yeah, look at this, man. In 1991, Canadian rock icons, the Tragically Hip, that's right. They released their second studio album, Road Apples. And to commemorate the album's 30th anniversary, which was in 2021, um, the band members collaborated with Thornbury Craft in creating a dry Canadian cider made with 100% fresh pressed local apple juice. It has a clean, fresh apple aroma, light body, and a smooth, lingering, crisp apple finish. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, I forgot to bring this with me last time we were camping. It's okay, because uh, I still got it. And I'm still gonna drink it. I'm not dropping the ball like I did with the Lake Rice and the Willibald uh, River Monster. Um, really looking forward to this, guys. And I'll tell you, I wasn't gonna drink this today. I wasn't gonna do this today. I was thinking about just coming back here, doing a little camping with my dogs. Uh, this is the last weekend of summer. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the wind's coming in, the rain's coming. I'm going to try and get this in before the rain. Um, but this morning I went down to uh, one of the gas stations, uh, you know, convenience stores, to get me some cigarettes. And I was wearing my uh, Toronto Maple Leafs shirt. And uh, there were these, uh, like, four, like, Canadian ladies in front of me in the line from Ontario which was uh, pretty crazy. Uh, they were buying some gas station pizza. It was kind of weird, but um, as I'm wa we're all walking out together, they are like, hey, look at that. That guy's got a fucking uh, Maple Leaf shirt on. Go Leafs. We're like, yeah, go Leafs. And uh, man, we had a nice conversation, talked about the Leafs, 
and um, back of my uh, leaf shirt I got there it's a Bill Broco shirt you know from uh, 50 Mission Cap and they were like you a hip fan I was like yeah man I, I gotta get home and drink this uh, tragically hip cider so you know that's just a little story for you guys but uh fuck this state of that ceremony shit let's get into the uh cider let's see what we think hopefully we won't die i gotta tell you guys uh classically i am a uh, cider fan i remember probably about 20 oh man 20 years ago 25 years ago one of the first times i went to uh, cambridge massachusetts stopping at some bar and having some uh, woodchuck cider probably for one of the first times uh, I used to drink a lot of that I uh, used to drink a lot of uh, Hornsby Hornsby I think it was Hornsby hard cider I don't know uh, you know I wasn't a big fan of the uh, Sam Adams you know the Angry Orchard stuff but yeah that's all besides the point um, none of that stuff hurt me I don't think this one's gonna hurt me how could it hurt me man it comes from the hip and yes, I got my hip shirt on to drink this because uh, that, that leaf shirt I had on got a little dirty. But all right, guys, let's get into this. Here we go, man. This one is going to be for Drew, which you all know. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Number three, golfers. In my hashtag, b for b series. All right, yeah, we got this fucking branch uh whatever man it's all i can't you guys are used to this here we go guys first of the day of course it's for drew <sighs> finally man it's happening i've had this for even longer than i've been talking about it and my dog is trying to escape jesus christ look you guys i mean Lacey, what are you doing get out of there come on no, you can't go in there. Ugh. All right. Okay, that's fixed up. Back to the uh, back to the cider. Okay, let's try her out. That's a good sound, Drew. It's for you, man. Thank you. Can't tell you how much this whole beer package you've sent to me means to me. First sip. Let's go. Mmm. That is good. Holy Chicago, man. Woo. I'll tell you, right when I opened it, before I brought it up to take that sip, just the smell of the apples. I mean, yeah, gluten free, sans gluten. As the uh, French would say. Oh, this is good, guys. I think it's going to hurt me, though. I can already feel the throat starting to close from the sulfites. But we're going to power through this. See my dog's trying to escape over there. Come on, girls. Back over here. Come on. Look at these two. These two monkeys trying to get out. Lacey, come on. Hey, Laces, let's go. Lacey, hey, where are you going? Come on, back here. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, before I do any real camp in here, I got to fix up the old anti-exploration fence. I think if I don't pound this, just take it in small doses, it'll be good. Um, tell you, man, Road Apples, it's a great album. Um, fortunately, not one of my favorite hip albums. Um, if I had to pick today what my favorite tragically hip album is, uh, today, I'd probably go with Day for Night. Um, shit, man, I even like music at work. Uh, but I mean it's great fucking songs I wrote apples man I mean Cordelia for the longest time Cordelia was my favorite tragically hip song if you guys uh, you know don't know what I'm talking about man just uh, you're already on the YouTube man just fucking YouTube Cordelia 
uh, Treasure Clip and uh, listen to that song, man. But that was my favorite song for a long time until it was replaced by, you guys all know what my favorite hip song is, uh, Problem Bears. Um, not on an album, but still my favorite hip song. Uh, Three Pistols, man. Tom Thompson came paddling past. Pretty sure it was him. He spoke so softly in accordance to the growing of the dim. He said, bring in the brand new Renaissance because I think I'm ready. I've been drinking all night long, but my hands are steady. I mean, come on, man. Three Pistols. That's a fucking great song. Twist my arm. Little bones. It's a great fucking album. And this is a great fucking cider. And these guys, man, these Thornbury cider, Thornbury village cider people, they did a great fucking job with this cider, I'll tell ya. Oh, man. Excuse me. I ain't gonna edit that out. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I almost went down the wrong pipe. That's my inexperience with drinking, not the cider. So I really can't uh, tell anybody any more than I already have that they should be listening to the Tragic Lehab. I mean, it was, uh, you know, Canada's best thing that's ever come out of Canada, man. One of the best things that's ever come out of this world, musically wise. Um, I don't know, guys. Uh, this is a great cider. Um, I like it, man. <coughs> um, <coughs> you know, allergies have been bugging me. Because <laughs> we're getting into full hay fever season. Um, I think it's the allergies that are bugging me more than the sulfites in this. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to be able to find this. Unless you're up there in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. Where Drew found this at. Um, and you know, you guys know, man, I'm not a beer reviewer. You guys want to watch beer reviews, man. Like I said, check out Drew, Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks. I'm also going to, oh, see, the wind's starting to blow. The wind is my enemy. I'm going to put a link down in the description, assuming I can find it, uh, to Drew's actual review of this. Um, so check the description. And you guys will see if it's there. Yeah, guys. You can see the wind is picking up. You can hear it, man. Coming through the trees. Somehow, man, I think fucking Gord. Ghost of Gord, man. He's with me. He's letting me enjoy this cider before the rain comes down berserk. That's his music at work. Uh, Lacey's over here in the tent, uh, getting dog camped. Sassy's over here just exploring, man. I don't know, guys. I gotta tell you, um, I almost wish I'd drink this in an Adirondack, uh, setting. But it didn't happen. And, you know, man, this is outlaw camp. If all you got is what you got. That's all you got. Um, man, this is a perfect drink for this day to wrap up the end of summer. Um, I'm going to have an official end of summer camping trip coming up. But uh, you guys are going to have to sit through all my other Adirondack uh, camping videos before you guys even get to see that. So don't worry about it, guys. I mean... Really, man, don't worry about anything. Just worry about, you know, having fun, relaxing, hanging out, watching Outlaw Camper videos, and, of course, trying something different. You know, like I said, man, ciders aren't my thing. But, like Drew says, try something different, and, you know, be kind to your neighbors. Luckily, all my neighbors know that uh, the weather's about to turn to shit. And they ain't out here, so I have to worry about being kind to them. What you think, Billy? What's up, Grillis? She's like, yeah, man, uh, weather's turning, brother. We gotta go. We gotta go inside. Yeah. Well, 
we ain't going anywhere until I finish this uh, cider. I'll tell you that. Takes all your power, but you don't care. I'm not Cordelia. I'm nothing there. Anyway, listen to the song, guys. Cordelia, Tragically Hip, Road Apples. This uh, Thornbury Village Cider House, Hip South Skadelphia Edition, Thornbury, Ontario, Canada. Cider, man. Like I said, 5.1%. Um, contains sulfites, but they haven't fucked with me the way I thought they would. This guy up here, getting dull and hypothetical. As I always say, and as Gord said. Um, rain's gonna be coming in guys I gotta wrap this up so I just want to thank everybody for watching this uh, B for B series I know it didn't really turn out the way I thought it would you know because we needed uh, that Laker ice and that Willibald uh, at a time when there was no camera around but Drew works in mysterious ways, man. You know, we had the beers when we needed them. Um, there may be another uh, hashtag B for B series coming up. There may not. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm thinking about finding a couple uh, weird ass fucking local brews to maybe send to Drew. We'll see. Um, but seriously, guys, thank you everybody for joining me. Thanks for watching this ridiculous outlaw camper. Uh, series you know just drinking beers that a friend of mine in Canada sent to me um, I hope you enjoyed it um, please leave comments man like share oh yeah man we ain't editing that out um, you know and tell your friends man tell your enemies because this is outlaw camp guys I mean there's cold beer whether it came from our buddy Drew or not uh, expatriates are always welcome. Never, ever any extradition. Um, stay tuned for more, you know, beer drinking. And uh, stay tuned for some more uh, Adirondack misadventures. Seriously, everybody, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check Drew out. I'll see all you guys in the next ridiculous Outlaw Camper misadventure. Thank you once again. Thank you, Gord. We love you. We miss you, man. Killed that one. I don't know if Gord ever did it, but I'm going to drop the can like Gord dropped the mic.